I usually carry a, a second phone with me to double check that the stream has actually gone live. And I don't have that today. So I'm completely at the mercy of you guys to let me know if the stream is live. And Cookie Ninja has jumped in with the very first super chat of the day. Cookie Ninja, thank you very much for that. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that we're pretty live. And since Cookie Ninja loves me to drop in Japan facts, let me to drop in a little Japan fact for you. So something that you might not know is Japan's stop signs are triangles. And they say tomare and stop, but they also often say tomare right on the ground. Sometimes there won't even be a stop sign. So there's your Japan fact of the day. Also, people don't smoke on the streets nearly as much as they did in the late 90s, early 2000s, when you would walk around Japan and still people didn't smoke on the streets much. It was actually far more common for people to smoke in game centers and stuff like that than it was for them to smoke in the streets. But it is Saturday morning here in Japan. It's gonna rain. We are, we are just waiting out the rain. We are racing the rain. That was really close. This is a fairly wide street, sir. I don't, I don't feel the need for you to, to grace me with your bicycle. And Sherry in there sending a super chat as well. Sherry, thanks so much for that. I really appreciate you keeping that super chat ball rolling. Here are some beautiful plants. I do believe this one is a succulent, which is not how you pronounce that word, but it's the mood that I was in. Now the staircases on this particular building here are pretty fly, but then again, I'm a white guy. So that's, that's a thing. That is a rooftop that I almost definitely, definitely could and should go on to at some point. I am, believe it or not, just finishing up work for the day. And I, wow, okay, so that, I came out that way. I got myself all turned around. This area out here and JZM keeping that super chat ball rolling, JZM. Thanks so much. Are we gonna be reenacting singing in the rain? I really hope not. I would I would absolutely love to um well not get caught in the rain. And so the goal is to oh now I got this dad raising me. I will not lose. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's all the running we're gonna do. Whoa, dude, dude, calm down. Calm down. That was unnecessary. You also have brakes that you could use. Like, he had two options, brakes or a horn. And he opted for the horn. So, people get real ballsy here in Japan when you can't like see them or see their faces. So when the whole world went into like COVID and masks, all of a sudden people got real gutsy and you'll see a lot of that inside of cars. Drivers and whatnot will get really passive aggressive just because they feel they're in the safety of their car. You can't see them. So another fun Japan fact for those of you who like fun Japan facts. And there was another beautiful super chat there from Sarah saying lovely end of the work week with a walk. Everyone take care. I might not even leave this one up to be honest. This walk is likely just going to be for us to hang out and spend some time together, explore some areas of Tokyo that maybe we don't always get to explore and learn a thing or two. You see, I'm gonna be doing a rather dedicated live stream of this area in the very not far future. We'll say not far future. And going over how this area of Tokyo from Akihabara where my office is and the surrounding area is actually really kind of amazing. It's filled with these, for example, this little area leading up to Jimbocho is really well known for snowboarding equipment. 
and the whole town is just filled with snowboarding equipment. There are snowboarding stores. Zoom in everywhere. All of this is snowboarding stuff. A bit of skiing stuff. And this whole, like, let's go into the back street over here. This whole space is just known for snowboarding. So if you are a snowboarder and you're like, oh, where do I get stuff in Tokyo? It's not one big store. It's actually a town, an area that you go to. And this is it. And then just as interesting is when we get out of this area and just a little bit beyond, it's an entire area. See, this is Snow Life Shop. Once we get out of this area and just a little bit beyond, what is this? I see a back street. We're going into it. It's all books. It's an entire area dedicated just to books. And around the, uh, like, so it's dozens and dozens and dozens of bookshops. An entire area dedicated to it. And then another one entirely dedicated just to musical instruments. And it continues on like this. And Tokyo is actually sectioned off like this fairly beautifully. And this, this right here was a, a dead end. And Panda Nugget keeping that super chat ball rolling, saying, hey Norm, happy to have caught you. Have a great day. Well, thank you very much, Panda Nugget. Super happy to be here. I appreciate you keeping that super chat ball rolling. Today's stream is gonna be one of those short, one of those temporary ones where we leave it up for, I don't know, five, 10 hours, 12 hours a day, I don't know. And then likely it's gone. So we're gonna be doing a lot more of these this year. That way little walks that I take like on a Saturday morning or something like that, we have the chance just to hang out and uh, do stuff like this. I mentioned that in a previous stream. If you missed our previous stream of walking from Tokyo Tower to Akihabara, that was actually a really fun stream. There was a lot of exploration and neat little spots that we discovered, found, and revealed within that stream. So if this one, if it starts raining and we've got to cut it short, that's where you go. Go check out that stream. It'll be a great time. And park. And it says no smoking in the park. It's such a sad park. I uh, remember seeing a tweet from somebody who was like, oh, I just came back from Tokyo and I tried to explore the parks and it was a really bad experience because none of them were green. It's like, yeah, you go to Ueno Park and whatnot. No, and so many people go to Yoyogi that everything just ends up brown. And Emma-chan is keeping that super chat ball rolling saying good morning for your morning coffee Jimbocho area. Yes, we are right near Jimbocho right now. Uh, we are in an area called Ogawamachi. It's just around the corner from it. It's kind of between Jimbocho and Akihabara area. I spent the night putting together stuff at the studio. I stayed fairly late at the studio. Yesterday had a meeting with a pilot and then hung out a little bit later to, to build some stuff in the office. And before I noticed it, it was morning. And I was like, oh, well, I might as well just, just stay here and do a stream because it's a cool area so that's what we're doing we're doing that stream so thank you again for the super chat super appreciate those now it has been quite the adventure building out this studio entirely by myself it is time consuming and fun gives me plenty of stuff to do all oh, cops are pulling somebody over and Mur Murisaki Asuna saying, wishing you a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Oh, we're not going to be able to catch up with him. He's so far now. Aw, I really... And we're not getting through that. It's like... It's like anti-jaywalking tape. Yeah, the cops tried to pull somebody over. And I think he like... 
I think he ran. Well, he didn't like run, but I think he like low key ignored them. Also, isn't it cool that this is like international for barbershop? You just, you look at it and you know, oh, we got barbershop stuff going on right here. Josh Stark keeping that stupid chat ball rolling. Josh, thank you so much. Josh is saying, good morning, man. Great to see you. Been missing the walks. Yes, it has been a bit of a busy start to the year in all the best ways. The cop is gone. I wanted, I wanted to go down there and catch up with the cop, but he's just, he's not existing anymore. He is disappeared as nobody says. And so it has been a busy but exciting start to the year. And can you make a video on the Nipori Fabric Town? Not really, but I, I don't really see much of a video in it, um, but I can do an explanation. So that, that's an option. Again, a lot of different areas of Tokyo are sectioned off via their, their purpose, their goal. Um, again, as we get into the area of Jimbocho here, Jimbocho is honestly, it's gonna be around the corner up there, is an entire town of just bookshops. And there are like probably a hundred plus bookshops spread throughout Jimbocho. It's quite incredible and wonderful. And I, these big Sakai Panda moving trucks are also great. These guys work super fast. So that being said, around Nipori, there's an entire town dedicated just to fabric. That's right, just to fabric. You can, you can get all kinds of fabric and fabric related goods. Actually, there's some fabric that we need to build out a soundproofing wall in the office that we just haven't picked up yet. And we've been meaning to make time to go to Nipori just for that. Nipori is the place where we would go to do that. Um, but that's, I, I guess that's the whole video. Is there's a fabric town in Nipori. There's the song that comes with it. And Caitlin, thank you so much. Caitlin in here, keeping that super chat all rolling, saying lots of coffee for your long night. It was a fun night. It was honestly a really fun night. I'm building shelves right now. I'm building like a, a workshop area in the back of the station, just in the back of the station, in the back of the, uh, the studio, just so I have a space to like maintain the studio and build stuff and whatnot. And the biggest reason like, I had my buddy Mitch over to the studio temporarily the other day and he was like, why, why do you need power tools in Tokyo, Norm? Like, well, cause I have a studio and there's lots of stuff to fix and maintain and mount to the walls and all this other stuff. Cause it's, it's my space. And so I don't want to have to hire a handyman every time something breaks. And I love just being able to build stuff myself. If you've been following for a while, you would have seen me build out an entire shelf for my room. The Patreon crew saw me rebrace that shelf with earthquake proofing and everything like that. So, oh wow, that was me trying to check a comment and almost knocking the phone out of my hand. So from here down and beyond most of this area, there's gonna be bookshops and whatnot. That because Japan doesn't believe in an active economy, despite it being past 9 a.m. on a weekend, nothing's open. So that's cool. Marty Vins keeping that super chat ball rolling, saying, just landed in Sydney. Oh, and the comment rolled away. Haven't even gotten off the plane yet. Amazing. You're watching this from a plane. That is, that is, I love that. But I have to watch this when I get back to the hotel room. Have a great walk. Thank you so much for that. Also, last night, for those of you who are into little mini streams, micro streams, if you will, last night we did a little micro stream over on the Tokyo Lens Patreon secret Instagram. Kirsten here, one of my moderators, was kind enough to send me out a beautiful holiday box. I revealed a whole bunch of stuff in the studio, things that have been built, things that have been working on, upcoming videos, you name it. And, and 
if you're not caught up with things or you just having come across this for maybe the first time ever, I am in the midst of giving away free flights to Japan. One free flight has already been given away, set and ready, so happy about that. Two more on the go, and there will be a fourth flight when Patreon hits 1,000 members. So, gonna have a good time, gonna have a blast. We have, now we're like right in the show area. You know what? I want to stick to these streets are so wide. Okay, is it just me, or do you feel like a little bit of disappointment when you end up in a really wide street? I'm like, oh, I was, I was enjoying the narrow back streets, and then we get out here, and everything's so wide, and that Dotor over there is massive, but there's no cars. Like this is Tokyo on a Saturday. This also explains why guy's gonna honk at me because he likes honking. Here we go. You gonna honk? Uh, I guess I got out of the way too soon. Does this... It's just a really tiny shop. I thought it was like a kiosk that like went to the outside. But it's not a kiosk that went to the outside. Blend coffee for $2.50. American coffee, which apparently... In Japan, just means really weak coffee. So if you're ever looking and they're like blend coffee, or this is watered down basically. It's just watered down coffee. Um, the Americano, they just, yeah. They just call it American coffee. And normal Japanese coffee isn't exactly that, like, strong is the word I'm looking for. Anyway, and Got a, a fake officer over here. He's not a real officer. He's like a security guard who watches the the Koban and a sign that says no drones. So Kalinka in here keeping that super chat ball rolling. Oh, I have no idea what just happened. The the uh, why? This is what happens right here when you uh, when you cross here instead of at the thing. But he has no actual power because he's not even a police officer. He's just, see, he sat back down. This is a security guard who's there solely for of monitoring the Koban when the police are away. Has a different uniform and everything. And he just yelled at me and he said, cross at the uh, cross at the, the road there at the crossing instead of crossing here and here we are but he sits back down because there's not really much he can do the uh, the gimbal turned itself off I need to I might have it like unbalanced or something that might be the problem I like the back streets so much better all right yeah he was like don't don't cross there cross at the proper place so oh that's a little bird i thought it was a rat for a second but it's like a little oh he flew away all right and say pinecone in there keeping that super chat ball rolling say norm really happy i caught this live stream since i missed the last one honestly I had a really crappy work week and this is the perfect way to de-stress thank you so much Let's try to make it a fun one. I'm happy because we're back into the back streets now. Sarah in here keeping that super chat ball rolling as well. Saying happy I caught this stream. Have a good new year. Thank you very much. Yeah, that is, uh, that's me breaking the law. And uh, if it was an officer, they, they're like, they're clearly really bored. So they would definitely come after me. And we would be talking to an officer on this stream. But it was a security guard. And he has about as much power as those referees at Foot Locker. So he couldn't really say anything to me other than, hey, cross at the crosswalk and then sit back down. They like to, they like to exercise their, their megaphone. It's the extent of their power though. Their bark is much worse than their bite. 
Had he come over, I would have been friendly and polite because it's really the only way to go about it. If you are belligerent or rude at all, they'll be like, okay, we're gonna hold you till the officers show up and then your day is ruined because just jaywalking or something, they, they will. They'll be like, okay, well, we now own you for the next like seven hours and they'll hold you. It's really dumb. So if you ever do do something accidentally, of course, that has the police stop you, always be friendly, always be, no matter how much of a dink they are, just be nice and it'll generally wrap up fairly quickly unless you get that one officer. And so, and Mitch Blight in here, um, saying something arigato. All right, you're, you're, I don't know what Noruma is, but you're welcome. Your videos are keeping me sane until I get back to Tokyo next month. That is awesome. I cannot wait for you to get back. I hope you have an amazing trip. I'm sure you will. That is spectacular. And Jelly Moose, which is just an awesome name to be honest. In here keeping that super chat ball rolling saying, thank you for all your videos. It made me so excited booking my three week autumn trip. Hope you have a fabulous day. That is spectacular. It's so good to hear so many book people booking their trip. Also Kalinka Pavlova in here saying, Norm likes that out life, like outlaw life jokes. Yes, see, see, see. Guys, guys, you have all the evidence you need right here to report me to the police. I'm handing it to you on a silver platter. Jaywalking, just do it, just do it. It'd be quite the video. It'd be quite the video. I got, <laughs> can you imagine? I got reported in Tokyo for jaywalking. They submitted my videos as evidence. And this is actually like, by the way, I'm low key like expecting someone to do it at some point. It's low hanging fruit. It is so easy. And the number of like Instagrammers who have done something illegal, like, you know, they, they go up onto a locked rooftop, for example, or they do something incredibly stupid, like go up onto Rainbow Bridge and they you know, take photos from on top of there and they're like in the photo because they selfied it. That constitutes as evidence of a crime and police in Japan will go through people's Instagrams and whatnot and be like, well, this, this looks like evidence of a crime and just go arrest the person. It's a real thing that happens all the time. So I am patiently awaiting the day where we, uh, oh no, I don't wanna have to jaywalk when it's already green. I am patiently awaiting the day where I have like the police show up at my door and they're like, oh yeah, we have 278 confirmed cases of jaywalking. Here's your fine, we'll see you in court. It's gonna be such a good video. <laughs> I got I got a nine thousand dollar fine for jaywalking in Japan. We'll just we'll make it all up in live streams. We'll just live stream nonstop until the fine is paid for it. <laughs> That's our plan. That's our plan. So and we'll get a good video out of it too. And Chan in here. Chan, how you doing today? Always great to have you here. I'm currently in Niseko. That's amazing. You're doing some skiing. Have a great day. Here is for the bail. Thank you so much. I'm going to start setting aside a bail and uh, bail and fine fund for my jaywalking. So, and Andy, Andrew Hardesty says jaywalking isn't a thing. So guys, congratulations. We can now walk wherever we want. <laughs> Andrew has made it possible for us. Andrew, thank you for paving the way. You're a brave soul. And Tak here saying, coming to October, missed it after four years. I've missed Tokyo so much. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much. And oh my God, Ami is in here. Ami says, just passing through the chat. Thought I'd pop in to say hi. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Feel free to pause this chat for a second if you want to. Jump over to Ami's channel check it out and hit that subscribe button. Ami is a creator that I have actually followed since I, before I was even a creator. 
always been one of my favorites. Great to have you in the chat here, Ami. Thank you so much. But guys, honestly, some entertaining content over there. Really interestingly made too. And while like VTubers and stuff are like this, like moderately common thing now, the approach that Ami uses to building content, when Ami started it, wow, you're not squeaky at all. When Ami started it was not super common. So it was really awesome to see. And I've got to run to make this lighting. Yeah, there's actually more running in this stream than I anticipated. Hey, he's running too. Running buddy, yes. All right. I was clearly happier about that than him. He was like, why? What, why are you giving me thumbs up? What are we doing? All right. Whew. All right. Too much street, not enough face. What, Chris is in here too? What is going on with this stream? I wasn't expecting any of this. If you guys want, Chris also has a channel that you can go and subscribe to. It's not like this channel. This is more of a canal. And these are the ones that you can do on boat. So these are great great to do on boat and this bicycle this is actually this is Chris's bicycle from abroad in Japan so Chris come get your bicycle it's been sitting here for a long time and it, people have put stuff in the basket which if you leave a bicycle somewhere too long is what's going to happen people will I uh, see now now Chris got clever you see by telling me to show my face in the stream, effectively, what Chris has achieved is creating proper visual evidence that it was me doing the jaywalk and not just like a remote voiceover for the video as somebody else walked. So now all the evidence that needs to be there for a conviction is there. And we're gonna run again. There's so much running in this stream. Not prepared for any of this. My bag is far too heavy for this. Whew. It's, uh, my bag is, well, it's, it's filled with craft Dinner. That's a, it's a real thing. And this bridge is nice. So check. There we go. And Caitlin in there keeping that, <laughs> keeping that super chat ball rolling. Thank you so much. And reactant as well, keeping the super chat ball rolling. Saying when is the next? That is that is a big. Wow, that guy was just screaming. I guess he almost got hit by a car. Everyone's jogging here. I thought it was just the joggers, but you know, salary man jogging is is a great thing. Cycling in Tokyo can be a bit dangerous. Um, taxis especially, and other cars will get kind of passive aggressive with you. So you do need to be really careful. If you are cycling through Tokyo, just exercise caution. Uh, I had a jacket ruined the other day because once again, a, a truck kind of got a little close and didn't realize that I didn't have space on my side. So I had to kind of stop and got a little, got a little dirty. That's how we'll put that one in, say pinecomb in here again with the super chat saying if norm ever gets in trouble it'll be because chris called the police i welcome it i w i think that would be there's the video right there like this is a lot of people passing really close that there was so much space but they wanted to i guess they just wanted a little lens they're like oh it's that tokyo lens guy let's cuddle up as we jog and right now, we're just heading across the city, right? At this moment, we are near the Kokyo, the, the Imperial Grounds of Tokyo. Is that the right word? I guess. And there's a set of rules and manners that you must follow. So it says, manners when using the sidewalk along the periphery of the Imperial Palace. That feels like some hardcore Google Translate right there. 
priority is given to pedestrians. Uh, large groups should not spread or block the footpath or hug you while you're running. Good morning, guys. How's it going? And the, these guys were kind of nice, but they're well, you know. Um, be prepared to walk in single file. You have to run counterclockwise. It's very important to keep your circadian rhythms. Don't run too fast. You're not allowed to be too healthy. Um, they're actually really pushing alcohol in Japan right now. So they want people to drink more. So of course, if you run fast, you'll be more focused on your health and less on your drinking. It's not good. Stop listening to music or checking your mobile phone while running. I actually want to see somebody doing that. I want to see a hardcore jogger like just Instagramming as they jog. Bicyclists must also slow down. There, there's clearly a speed limit. They haven't posted what it is, but there's a speed limit. Um, take your trash home. That Well, that, that's just common sense. And be considerate. People walking should also love people with canes and bicycles. These people should all love each other. These are the rules for using this path. And so if you follow the rules, see, the police don't bother you. See, I'm following the rules. I'm walking single file. I am not listening to music. I have not spread myself out with Kagebun Shinotsu. We're doing a good job. So it feels really good to be following the rules and not be attacked by the police who don't enforce these rules. So I'm just gonna scroll back, make sure I didn't miss any super chats there. We are good. Mod Squad, if I miss anything, just let me know. I got really focused on learning the rules there for a second. Also, if we haven't already, give that like button some love. Let's see if we can push it up to whatever the next major milestone is. I don't even know what that is because I don't have my second phone for monitoring. So, and I am currently, whoa, that was really close. That was like, I felt his breath on the back of my neck. It was slightly romantic, but it wasn't the mood that I'm going for, to be honest, as I'm just walking around the Imperial Palace grounds. So, and it was very brief and uninvited. So I, I'm pretty sure that, that this guy in the blue kind of runs like Phoebe from Friends and I'm here for it. Thank you, Phoebe. It's great. That guy definitely, oh man, everyone needs to slow down. Oh, the level of speed that I'm feeling off of this. So, oh man. Bikers are out for blood. They should be using the streets to be honest, but even though it's super wide, this area right beside the Imperial Palace is actually one of the most dangerous places to cycle or ride a small motorbike in all of Tokyo. The number of accidents that happen right in this zone is unbelievable. There's a lot of joggers this morning. I might honestly just get over to like the other side of the, like, look at this. This is, they're, they're just a big group of, like, come on guys, come on, don't, don't spread out. Wow, and slow down, they, they did, clearly didn't read the rules. This guy too, he's way too fast. These are just a whole bunch of people who don't know how to read rules. They're posted on that one pole and probably nowhere else. Unbelievable. You're supposed to stop and read the pole. Why are there so many joggers? Is everybody just like, okay, I'm going to be healthy on Saturday. Like, if you go to this area any other day of the week, it's dead around here at this time. I cycle this almost every single morning heading to the studio. And it is dead, silent, quiet. I might run into one or two joggers. But Saturday morning, everyone's like, okay, all right, I've escaped from the office. Let's be health for a moment. And Reactant said, everyone press the like button. You use a super chat for that, Reactant? So much love to you. Thank you so much. That is very kind of you. That is very kind. Yes. Let's get that. Let's in the next, let's see if we can't get 40 likes, 50 likes in the next minute to two minutes. These, there are far too many joggers on this side of the road. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. I'm 100% not, but we also just missed that light. So me crossing there isn't an option either. See, these guys are allowed to go fast because they're on the road. 
so that's completely fine. I love, I love how this guy's just keeping up with the atmosphere. He's my favorite. I like him. We'll call him George. And George knows what's going on. George is keeping the atmosphere good. Okay, let's get out of the, the cloud of joggers is I think what you're supposed to call a group. Different animals have like different names, right? Like a murder of crows. I think from now on, group of joggers will be referred to as a cloud. A cloud of joggers. So, it, it makes sense. They kind of move the same way. They're like particles that disperse and then regather. It's great to have George in the stream. Probably won't see him again today, at least but I appreciate his existence. So, George, thank you for that. And, you know, the last time, and Yamil, yes, they read one rule per lap. That's actually not a bad way to do it. Yamil, thank you for, thank you for inputting that. the Imperial Grounds are there. I'm gonna try to make this light with minimal running. We're actually gonna end up crossing back over to this side, but I like that side of the road just slightly better. So we're gonna go over there because that side of the road creates more happiness. It's gonna start blinking any second. Is it? it did, it did. Uh, I told the story about how I got hit by a truck. It was actually right along here, it was right around this corner. I'll show you the exact space where I got hit by a truck and why it was so ridiculous. Okay, so when you're on like a, a tiny motorized vehicle, like a Genski in Japan, you have to be within the leftmost one meter. So I'm typically like right in this space here because it's like, it's actually fairly well done. It's smooth, it's consistent, it's not that hard to stay in. And as you can tell, this leftmost lane is actually fairly wide. It's not exactly a narrow lane, but the truck driver, we had just come by this overhead sign that's over here. And the truck driver that, uh, <laughs> that was like, hey, you wanna die today? He, uh, no, he was a nice guy. He, he like, honestly, he took responsibility right away. He was super, super like on it uh, he even noticed I guess the loud thud and seeing the foreigner go flying off the heavily lit up vehicle you know it'll do that for you but there was more than plenty of space he just seems like he may not have been aware of the width of his vehicle the front cab and the back cab were very very different sizes and the rear cab is the part that nailed me the hardest. And so that is the adventure of getting, there's, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're like, you got, you got hit by a what? In wh what? There's a whole video about that up on Tokyo Lens. And the most common comment to the point of it almost being like NPCs is he got isekai Yeah, like that, it's like an anime thing and it's like just caught, there's like 4,000 of that comment or something. So if you're looking for a video with a comment section filled with originality, that that's the one right there. That's the one. So as you can see, it was right like after this space here. As you can see, like this particular lane is actually not, not, that, not that bad. We are three lanes across here, but they're moderately wide lanes. And it was right around here that I got nailed. And that, that was, that was fun. And Ami says, Emperor Naristo is watching from his window. Big fan of your channel, but he's too shy to come and say hi. I will, I'll wave, I'll wave. Hi. Bunch of random people probably think I'm waving at them and I've now confused them. So, Ami, you're a true influencer. 
And Albert in here keeping that super chat ball rolling. Thank you so much for that, Albert. Saying, hope you're doing well, sir. Did it take a, a lot of getting used to to chat in a public setting? Not at all. Feels like something I'd struggle with. I don't look at the other people really. And when I do, I just smile at them. I'm more focused on like reading your guys' comments and doing the live chat. Like everybody else has their own lives going on. They're not that concerned with me. And in the same way that I'm not that concerned with them, they've got their own stuff. They might see me for like 10 seconds or something, but then they're on to whatever it is that they're doing and they won't remember me. I won't remember them. No need for us to concern ourselves with each other. Everyone just enjoys their lives. That's, uh, I guess, the best way to do it. But also, if you take a look at anything on the Tokyo Lens Explorer channel over the past three years, this channel was built during the pandemic for the sole purpose of being able to take us out early in the morning and late at night in areas where there were no people. I went out of my way, traveled thousands of kilometers across the country, went, got up at ridiculous hours in the morning just to do live streams without a single other soul around. That way, we didn't have to worry about restrictions and, you know, other people worrying about, oh, that guy's like walking and talking in public loudly and all of that. We didn't have to worry about any of that. We could just join the joggers and walk and enjoy. And so that there is how this channel was built. And so the vast majority of my time doing the Tokyo Lens Explore channel, I haven't had to worry about people. In fact, if you look at the joggers and their proximity to me on camera in the last couple of minutes, this might be the most and the closest proximity to people that we've ever had on the Tokyo Lens Explorer channel. So, now Tokyo Station is right down that way. We've gotten there. And then, I like this little park here, which is just, just called Toilets. I mean, it's just a park with trees near the Imperial Palace. But all the trees are like bonsai, but big. It's just a bunch of giant, beautiful trees that I like seeing. So hopefully that answers your question. Some very, very generous and beautiful super chats in here. John Alden Davis saying, hit like for Norm surviving truck coon. Yes, I survived truck coon. I am still here. I think about that a little too often actually, how like that could have been it. It was not so much the truck, but it was the taxi that came right after that just narrowly swerved and didn't run over my head. So very, very glad to still be here. Like it is uh, like the different universe somewhere. <laughs> like there's some very sad news that hit and then the world went on. And Chris Yamagata always in here again with a very generous super chat saying, hi Norm, I hope your day is great. They seem just as fast when they run by sideways. Chris, thank you so much for the generous super chat. Appreciate it. Glad to have you here. Day is beautiful. And just for that, here's a tree that I like. So this tree is like, it's like the reading tree. Like look at the roots in this thing. Like just look at the base of this tree. This is like the tree from Ongbak. And if you haven't seen that movie, there's something for you to do today. Let's go see Ongbak. This is a pretty, this tree just makes you want to climb it. But it's in like one of those places, like if this was just in a park, be like, yay, I'm gonna climb the tree now, guys. But like, it's on the grounds of the Imperial Palace. So that would not be an appropriate move. Like, oh, let's, let's climb the, the Imperial Palace tree. And there's like a really big spider up there. He's, he's about two thirds the size of like a, a bill, like, like a $10 bill or something. Can we zoom into him? Is that an option? There he is. He's actually, you can't, there's no, nothing for scale. So you, you don't know, but you just, there he is. And these trees are pine, Nordic pine. 
No, they're not Nordic pine. I don't even know what Nordic pine is. It, it, it's a type of pine. I do know that much. That much information is present in the name. It comes readily available. So it's not like it's a, a puzzle that I figured out, you know, it's in the name, Nordic pine. But I, I don't, what, is, is it from, is it from Nordia? Is that a place? If you're not familiar, none of this is none of this is serious. I, I'm aware that Nordia isn't a place, but I, I still don't know what Nordic pine is. Also, can we just talk about the fact that this particular tree has one really long branch that is just going pew right out the side, just straight out, straight out. Look at this. It's actually got two. Wonder how long they had to brace that in order to get that one branch to just shoot straight. They cut it off to to just shoot straight out the side like that. It looks like they have a theme for this. That that's it. It's themed. And this is the little forest that we get to walk through because the next section of Tokyo gets pretty crazy again. So we enjoy this while we can, while it's peaceful. Enjoy the name. You know, Nordic is from Norway, silly. I know that. The Nordia thing was clearly a joke. When you call me out, it's a joke. <laughs> Reminds me of the old episode of The Simpsons. There's probably one or two Simpsons fans in this chat where like Krusty goes to dinner. It's like, well, for 10,000, I can have someone killed. And everyone's jaw drops. And he's like, it, it's a joke. When you look at me like that, it's a joke. And this grass is actually really soft. I think it's Nordic grass. So that's a thing. I really want to go between these two, these two trees. So this is, it happened. We've gone between the trees. I had goals for this year and I've now achieved one of them, which was to go through those trees. And John Alden, thank you so much. Hit like for the trees and whatnot. John, thank you so much for the continued kindness. Super glad to have you here. That is insanely nice of you. Let's get over this way, closer to the city. It's surprising that like, it's, it's like Central Park. It's this giant set of green in the middle of the uh, the city. And it's just like, here, here it is. It's just some green in the smack that in the middle of the city that you gotta drive around. I'm assuming that the joggers have just like left their stuff here. That like there's your change of clothes, your energy drinks everything they'll likely be coming back for it it's still really weird to see though and chris in here ah oh, chris thank you so much hello i'm helping you get some sleep after your long hours of work after a few days you sound more rested yeah actually the weird thing is working through last night and building stuff in the office is like kind of what woke me up i feel so so much better. Uh, I appreciate everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, as always. You know how much I appreciate you. So, we've had a, had a good couple of weeks together. And I look forward to the future. Getting to know you better, man. Thank you so much. That being said, more trees. And then this giant open space, which is super exciting. So... As we go to get through this giant open space, I encourage everybody once more to give that like button some love. Use the time as we get there. We're gonna be going over there. And we're gonna be looking at the buses and then we're gonna be jumping in the water, which we won't be doing. But if you use this time to give the like button some love, I will take a second to talk to you about our sponsor for this video, which is nobody. This is not a 
not a sponsored live stream. But for a second there, for a second there, you're like, oh, ad roll cut. Nope, it's not a, it's not a thing. It's just a live stream where we're walking. Do a flip. Okay, you ready? You ready? <clears throat> there, landed it beautifully. Perfect landing to that flip. You didn't even see it coming. And yet here we are. It happened and it was wonderful. I, so the thing is, I'm actually, I'm heading this way because Tokyo Tower is over this way. And the area is shrouded in clouds right now. They're building so tall that they're like, oh, come on. Oh, I gotta like, I gotta do it really slow. That they're like all up in the clouds like that, which is cool, which is cool. But to walk this side of Tokyo right now, everything is super wide open. Whereas down this way, everything's like really narrow and there's like cool stuff and you can, there's a Shinkansen there. So you can see the Shinkansen tracks. There it goes, that's the Shinkansen. So, oh, it's green. We were waiting and I got so focused on the Shinkansen that I almost missed the light. Easily distracted. I had a t-shirt once that said that I put it down somewhere and I don't remember where I put it. I think I got distracted and now I don't have the shirt anymore. And so that's the whole story of my easily distracted shirt. Thank you so much for coming to my TED talk. If you're wondering where we are right now, we are in the area of Hibia, Hibia. So if you don't know where Hibia is, I would like to introduce you to a beautiful tool um, that many of us here in the world use called Google Maps where you can Google it and then you can be like, oh my God, he's right there in Hibia. I just pointed at him. Okay, stop. I, I can feel you pointing. Stop. It's uncomfortable. It's not polite to point at people. And John, come on, that's so kind today. Sponsored by Super Chat. Thank you so much. That was my sponsor by Super Chat, boys. Today on Tokyo Lens Explore, as we walk towards the depths of Hibia Station, we are looking at what is known as Exit B6. B, of course, standing for, I have no idea, what does B stand for? Bumblebee? Oh my goodness. That, there's a guy jogging over there and he just yelled so loud that it, it was like he was right beside me. I could hear him right in my ear. Oh no, not red again. I wanna get into the city street. It's gonna take us much longer to go this way, but I wanna get in, it was supposed to be raining by now. I thought, I thought for sure our stream would be done by now because the rain would be here, but it's not raining yet. We got lucky. Feels like New York right here, just this one, this one corner. Sumo is on today, you should go check it out. I have not gone to Sumo in forever, but there, there is an audible walk signal. So for those of you who miss the nostalgia of Tokyo, there, that should give us an audible walk signal when it changes. And it has it in your language, in your language, in your language, in your language. So, I don't, it's, it's multilingual. I'll get right in there in case you wanna like scan the QR code with your phone. And I'm wondering if you've ever thought about making a video at Daikokufuto parking area since you mentioned it a while back. I have done three, three videos at Daikokufuto parking area. I've done a completely dedicated video there. I've done a completely dedicated live stream there. And I've made it, actually four. There's at least two more videos that Daikoku Futo makes it into in on my channel. So I love the suggestion, but, but also, there are also four pieces of content that already exist with everything you could want from Daikoku Futo, all the craziest, all the craziness, cars drifting around, police harassing people. It is, it's a wild, it's a wild area. I see you, I see you, I'm putting you on camera just because I don't trust you, the way you're inching forward. I know the way you operate. And we're gonna go 
this way and get into the streets. Yay, yay, boop, boop. That's the sound we get. So sometimes you think there's like no cameras and then there are secret cameras. So I'm pointing a camera at the camera. It's like camera reception. And then another one over here. They're gonna be like, what? What is this guy? What is this guy doing? Those are actually like traffic cameras, by the way. John, thank you so much for joining in the stream and all the kindness. Really appreciate you keeping that super chat ball rolling the entire time. Great to have you. Hope your day is beautiful. Thanks so much. Car wants some of that Tokyo lens. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna be like Tokyo lens smattered all over the the front of the taxi. It would be a not good day. It would not be enjoyable. Right behind this section here, there's actually some really cool stuff in streets. So we're gonna head towards that. That's the goal for now. And to give you an idea of how big any given area can be, we are still in Hibia. So like this station up also, the, okay, so all these trees create these like, this spattering of garbage on the ground every fall. These are called ginan. They're the little like seeds from the trees. They're like, here, let me show you exactly what they look like. These are the most hated things in all of Tokyo. So a lot of them have dried, so they're really tiny now. But these here, they're typically much bigger than this. And they smell, smell terrible. They literally like, you could go to a farm and it smells better than these. These smell worse than fecal matter. And especially when they're smashed all over the place. So this area right now where I'm standing smells atrocious. It's so bad. But the leaves from those trees make the, the little like <whistles> sign that you see on like the Tokyo Metropolitan. That's like their mark and it's on the buses and everything like that. So these trees are like a sign of Tokyo. And it's the same trees that if you were to go to um, like Omote Sando and Harajuku that line the streets that in the fall turn a beautiful bright yellow. Lovely on that. But oh my goodness to those you know they did just the, the oh disgusting now for those of you who that's an aloha living bus by the way for those of you who don't know those are called ginkgo trees and the little ginnam smell atrocious they're so bad so when i cycle through this area heading to the studio and back it is not a pleasant experience because of all the Ginan just all over the ground. It's so bad. Those are not acorns. Oh Lord. Acorns are lovely. These are terrible. And there's a musical for Spy Family in case that's the thing that you want to come see. Or this Kingdom one. Or Johnny's World. Yep. I'm gonna line up to get tickets for that one. And so we're down at Hibia Station early. I think I scared her. She's like, oh my God, English. I was down at Hibia Station earlier. And this is Hibia Station. Exit B2. Exit B2. So we're still, still at Hibia Station. There's a lot of Hibia Station going on here. And ginkgo smells about 10,000 times worse than natto, yes. Natto doesn't smell bad unless you like get it right up in your face. But ginkgo, it's like, honestly, you go through here and it's like walking through a farm. And you say better than sewage, it really isn't. There's a comment in the chat that says better than sewage, no, no, no. I've like, trust me, Ikebukuro and Shinjuku are areas I don't go often anymore because they smell more often than not. Shibuya is getting that way too. And really often it's sewage. 
it smells like sewage. But this is equally as bad or worse. Just terrible is the word that I would use to describe it. So did you make half a lap? We almost made half a lap, yeah. Around the, the Imperial Palace. We actually, in the uh, earlier days of COVID, we did an early morning walk around the Imperial Palace, I believe. I think we did a full lap around the Imperial Palace, did we not? So. And it looks like we might get there just on time to cross the bloody road. But we're getting closer to the tracks now, which is wonderful. There we go. Finally getting into the back streets. This has been a really open walk. I get so adverse to the, the open areas because they're less visually entertaining than the areas that are all narrow and look like this. See, this just gives you more to look at and explore with your eyes. So, I think the Emperor is still watching. That's also a pretty awesome truck, so that's a thing. Huh. This is the Imabari Shipbuilding Co. So, Imabari is part of Ehime, and it's down in Shikoku. And the, you know they got the, the big beautiful shin, shin, shima, shina, I can never say it. Shima, nima, 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 ni kaido. There we go. That's what we'll call it. And apparently this giant beautiful building here is for a shipbuilding company from Imabari. Very interesting. Good to know. Good to know. So right now, if you're wondering, well, Lens, where are you at, Brew? We are near Ginza. If I were to walk straight down this street here, we would be in Ginza. So we're making progress. We're not too far now. About halfway, maybe. I'm still just genuinely shocked it hasn't rained. Guys, I fully expected rain. So one of the things that I've been really happy about lately, over the moon ecstatic about, is everywhere I go, I'm seeing people like, here in Japan, like showing up, suitcases, having a great time, exploring, getting lost, interacting with locals, asking questions, all this stuff. And it is spectacular to see so many people back and enjoying Japan. I'm really happy. I'm really, truly, genuinely happy that the borders have opened up and people are able to come out and explore. It's just so good to have people back and feel everything being so lively and ah, oh, it's truly, truly wonderful. That's been keeping a smile on my face almost daily. Okay, so guys, we talked about this in a previous stream and I can now, I can now show it to you. So Wendy's didn't do well in Japan the first time around and it disappeared. And so now Wendy's is a collaboration with First Kitchen. But the thing is, Japanese really like to shorten everything. So Japanese people call First Kitchen fucking. And so this restaurant now for Japanese people, depending on who you talk to, is either fucking Wendy's or Wendy's fucking. So that's literally what people call the restaurant. Not everybody, because not everybody abbreviates as they talk but it's also, it's also not uncommon. So there you go, guys. Wendy's fucking an actual shop in Japan. Finally into our back streets. This is a neat little space right here. I like this. This is Tokyo Midtown Hibiya area. Again, if you missed our last live stream, where we walked from Tokyo Tower to Akihabara, which was a great walk. That's the kind of stuff you miss. That stream was chock full of that. That lovely Wendy's goodness and so much more. So, 
丸本店 Look at this. Look at this. This this scene right here. Not even trying to be cinematic. It just happens naturally. Look at that. Look at this building. The the just blowing in the wind. Love that. I love that. I'm low key thinking of getting a coffee. This is a family mart right there. But I'm also just staring at this. So, yeah, <laughs> there's a comment in here that says, you do self-censor well. Well, I actually can swear quite a bit, so anytime I'm like, son of a, you, I just, mo and you could have, I'm gonna see you beat the Addy. And so I, when I'm on streams, I tend to, I tend to, what is it? Censor it all out. Got a little bit of a tunnel in here. That guy was like right up behind us. So I was like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get hit by him. Or him. But dare we venture into the tunnel? Maybe I'll get coffee another time. Just cause this tunnel calls to us. Okay, so. Anybody who saw the previous stream should know exactly where we are. And I'm not gonna take the same route. I'm actually gonna go back out and take the outside route so that you can get a feel for what the area looks like. But there's a whole alleyway that we went through here last time. And this goes down for quite some time. And no, this is not anywhere near Ueno. So last time, again, our last stream, if you haven't seen it, it's such an adventure. There's so much to see, learn, and catch up on, on that. So also this restaurant is called Ikinari Steak. Ikinari means suddenly. So it's like suddenly steak. Can you imagine if that was your life? You're just like walking around here. Oh crap, a steak. It's amazing. That'd be a great life. I want to have suddenly a steak. And in Japan, we wash out front of our stores. In Canada, we shovel. So in Japan, they actually take time to wash the outside of their stores, which is just great. We're gonna walk through here, but I'm gonna try not to get hit by this truck coming through because it's already narrow enough. So last time we were inside these tracks here. We were inside the little hidden paths underneath these tracks. And like some of these restaurants actually connect to both sides of this. And just as I'm like, oh, let's get on the road cars like or don't all right we're good so like look at this this awesome this awesome restaurant i just kind of want to come here now this is great all right and yet another car trying to squish me wow that's that's a really aggressive like scooter, it's got a seat. In Japan, oh wow, it's a powerful one too. This thing could be up to 125 cc. I think this one's actually made by the same company that made my scooter. Uh, the pink license plate means that it's significantly above 50 cc. The, the throttle control and everything is made just like mine. This thing has a single dual and eco turbo mode. Wow. I would not feel safe on that. That is, that is crazy. We have a sushi zamba here. They always win the, the bid for the, the like year end tuna. 
I don't think anybody really pays that much attention to that anymore. It was like a really big gimmick thing that kind of died out during the uh, during the pandemic. People were like, oh, we don't really have the luxury to care about you spending 50 million yen on a tuna. And beautiful super chat in here from Joy saying thank you for the humor. Perfect way to the end of a busy day in the U.S. Well, thank you for being here. Joy, it is, would it, like, is it low-hanging fruit to say it's a joy to have you here? Is that... Is that too simple? Tiny little, you know what? I'm just gonna, we're gonna go up here because passive aggression is a thing. So we'll be up here. I don't know what cow, cow, cow is. I'm guessing it means 999. And lunch sets are 900 yen there. So right now, we are past Ginza and Yudakcho, uh, heading uh, to and towards the Shimbashi area. Her, her scarf is a bow. That's amazing. She had tied her scarf into like a ribbon. I've never seen someone do that. I've seen a lot of really neat stuff, but that, that was something truly neat and unique. At first I just thought she had like a big fashionable like bow attached to her but it was her scarf and again this is one of the entrances to the inside area under the tracks that we explored previously so and today we're walking the outside of that if you haven't already, do me a favor. Let's try to get 50 likes in the next two minutes. Give that like button some love. Push up to the next thing. And honestly, if you guys haven't already, I know a lot of you just watch casually. It'd mean the world to me if you'd hit that subscribe button. Join the channel. Join the adventure. Streams like this, I'm not even 100% if I'm going to be leaving this one up. This one might stay up. This one might come down. I went through the effort of making a thumbnail for this one, so I might leave it up. But as I said previously, there are plenty of impromptu streams that come up and will not be staying up on the channel. So if you want to catch every stream from the ones that pop up suddenly and then disappear forever, all the way to ones like this, then make sure that you get those notifications on, that you are subscribed, and that you have a smile on your face. It's very important that you have a smile on your face. And we're zigging, we're zagging, we're back over at the other side here. Eighth Base is the name of this place. 999. Whoa, careful, bud. It wasn't in German. It was in... I've run into... I've run into enough people from Germany lately to to learn three words so actually it's the same word three times but i guess i can count as three words if you try hard enough train coming by the way so that's a thing train okay it is official i want coffee so coffee needs to happen now so Let's find coffee. That'll be our goal, is to find and purchase coffee. It's always good to have a goal. That'll be ours. The struggle with it is that typically, my Suica card is on my phone, which I use for these streams. So, oops. But I might have some coins in my pocket. Coins is in the pockets. I have, I have 200 yen, so. I get a 200 yen coffee. These are real things that are happening. Presented to you by the lens of Tokyo. I should probably change the channel name to exactly that. The lens of Tokyo. With a giant space in between the two words just for dramatic effect. Just like that. Okay. All right. No cars. No cars. Responsible jaywalking. 
See? Jaywalking with safety and pride. It's the only way to do it. My bag feels lower than usual. My knee to tighten the straps. This is exciting commentary like this. So, also, this wall. I want this wall in my studio. Tell me that this wall just feels so 90s. I actually really want this wall. I don't want to have to tile myself because tiling is a very tedious task. And it looks like this is an LED board. That's really hard to look at. Okay. Guys, if anybody, like people all the time are like, oh man, Norm, I'd love to do something to help out or join you on your adventures or something. I'll tell you what, if you bring me, if you bring me these exact tiles and you come to my studio with these tiles with all the stuff you need to tile something, I'll let you tile a small wall, let's say two meters by two meters. If you bring enough tile for two meters by two meters, it's gotta be this stuff. It's gotta be exactly this stuff. If you show up with something else, I, I won't let you in. It's gotta be this. So for everybody who's like, dude, I wanna I wanna join you on an adventure, I wanna I wanna help you out building out the studio. Okay. Then find the tile. Bring me the tile. Bring the tools and be ready to tile a two meter by two meter section of something. I wanna, I wanna, that there, I'm testing your resolve for everybody who's like, yeah, dude, I totally, totally wanna help you work on the studio. I would love that. I will see you once you show up with the tiles. And there can't, like, it can't be like this whole, like, hey, are these, are these the ones? And like this whole long back and forth that you just gotta get the tiles and you gotta show up with them. That's it. I, I don't want it to be a thing. We can work on the tiles when you arrive with them. These are my plans. So, do you want a glitter wall too? No, I don't want a glitter wall. I only want that tile. Two meters by two meters. Somebody forgot their lighter, so. That's a thing. Not physically capable of tiling. It's, it's a very tedious task. I avoid tiling at all costs. Like, honestly at all costs. Because of the level of tediousness. Should we get Family Mart coffee or McDonald's coffee? What do you guys think? Let me know. Family Mart coffee or McDonald's coffee. There's, there's both places right here and I need coffee now. Like I'm just, I really want a hot beverage. What's it gonna be? Need an LED wall? Definitely don't need an LED wall. It'd be fun to explain that to customs. What are these? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tile a YouTuber's studio. Already failed. Sorry. Bring the tile and wipe away the debt. What, Chris? Chris, drop it in a super chat. That says to start your shiny tile fund. That made me smile. Thank you so much for that. What? I gotta say, guys. I'm both disappointed in you and proud of you. I'm disappointed because everybody, almost everybody, went with the really obvious choice, which was Family Mart. Uh, but I'm also kind of proud of you because that was the right choice. So, that's fine. And Ami is still here. Ami, find an independent coffee shop. I want to, but I don't want to... So like a convenience store, I can just walk in pretty easily and like point this thing at the ground and you know, whatever, they're, they're used to that kind of thing. I try to avoid going into an independent coffee shop that I haven't pre-verified while pointing a camera at things because I don't want, like it's not discreet. 
Like I've got this thing on a gimbal and everything and I don't want to make the staff like all uncomfortable and whatnot. So if it was any other situation, that's exactly what I would do. But let's grab ourselves a coffee here. Family Mart socks with your coffee. Hello. Hello. Cafe latte no L size one. Family Mart socks with your coffee. Not exactly the right amount. Hi. There we go, guys. Okay. So one of the reasons that Family Mart is the right reason is because Family Mart has stuff like this, which I really enjoy. This one's new. It's the apple cinnamon sugar. And just add a little bit of that and boom. And caramel sugar. So an apple cinnamon caramel latte. I like to put everything in first. The trick with these you get everything down to one side and then you break it in half like that and that's how you do sugar with one hand so and then I put this in here and we push our button oh no this one hot cafe latte is not available there's another machine over here though so we should be okay <clears throat> This one's available, haha. <laughs> All right. There we go. Hot cafe latte. Is Chris back in the chat? People are like, Chris, uh, karage. The word karage showed up, Famichiki showed up, so everyone expected Chris to burst back into the chat. Apple cinnamon sugar high. Yeah, I I do want to point out though that Ami makes a really good point about going to like a, an independent shop. You might pay like a dollar or two more for your beverage, but there's so many great little shops around here. We're also in Shinbashi, so we're closer to like a bar area, but those shops tend to be like fairly small and I, you know, don't want them to be like, oh my God, has he got a camera? Are we on camera? And make them really uncomfortable. So, there's my latte. And usually I'll like, now the stir sticks are all in like individually packed and it's all paper and whatnot, but I'm still not a huge fan of it. So I just put a lid on and I go like this now. That still stirs the coffee. And then I don't have to create more waste. So, there you go. Done and done. Nipples I'm all. We've finally got ourselves a coffee. All right. Uh, I'm gonna balance it here. Hopefully it won't fall. And we will finally have a little bit of coffee. Right now, if you're wondering where we are, we're getting right into the Shimbashi district. I'm gonna race this guy. So this is actually a tiny subculture in Japan. And let me tell you about it as I race this guy. So in Japan, people who are rushing actually secretly race each other, but they don't tell each other that they're racing. And it's one of these tiny little like Japan subcultures. I won by the way, that <laughs> you don't realize until you get like really close with Japanese people and make Japanese friends. And then they admit, like if you have any really close Japanese friends, 
ask them if while they're walking, if they secretly race the people around them, the vast majority of your friends will tell you yes. We're gonna head into the streets here. Do gas stations have kombini? Oh, that's a good question. Like elsewhere, not really. Gas stations in Japan are separate from kombini. Some gas stations will have like a like a family mart nearby or something like that. But it's not like it was actually really weird to me. Um, you know, you, you stop at a, a gas station and you wanna grab some stuff from the kombini and there's nothing there. So yeah, they they don't. But yeah, Japanese people are constantly secretly racing other Japanese people, which I think is like, you know, it, there are people here saying it in the comments. It's adorable that that's a thing. And like, it was actually my tiniest Japanese friend ever back from university, 148, 147 centimeters. She was like this little, university student friend that I had and we knew each other like probably four years before she admitted that she's like oh yeah when when I'm walking around places like Tokyo I'm actually secretly racing the people around me so I thought that that was kind of cool uh, there's coffee really hits the spot by the way so to you guys who tossed in for coffee and all that thank you i'm glad i could actually get a coffee in the stream for once um this area here if you're a regular viewer of the main channel you may actually recognize this area i've come out to these spaces to do rooftop adventures through Shimbashi with my buddy Lucas. And actually one of my favorite uh, Instagram photos is from right around the corner here. Give me a second. I got myself around here and then I did a vertical panorama of this building and this staircase here. Just a giant vertical panorama of this and the color 12 color 12 I have so much love for who has mapped so many of our streams is on their way to Tokyo and is gonna come hang out at my studio right right you're gonna come hang out at the studio right spent like the entire pandemic mapping my streams so that people would be able to follow the maps and whatnot here on Tokyo Lens Explore. A lot of those from our big live stream adventure in the summer where we rented a car and went through and did a whole bunch of live streams. That uh, is, oh my goodness, is it raining? Has it started? Did it start just as I got coffee? Guys, the rain may have started. We might be there. The time might have come. But that's not even that's not even real brick. It's like sponge. Um, color twelve, finally making their way to Japan. Super, super excited to have you. Like, look at these spaces. Like, okay, you wouldn't know it, but there's actually a little shrine over here. Is it a temple? I can't remember if there's a toady gate. Okay, so this is why. I love the area of Shimbashi. We've shown this at night on some streams. It looks like a dead end. You're gonna be like, Norm, why, why are you dead ending? And then people come out of it. I want these chairs, by the way. Oh my goodness, nothing says like, we're shutting down a shop from the 80s, like all this furniture. Look at that. This is spectacular. Okay guys, so what I want you to do is 
give some love to the like button. Let's get it up to the next major milestone as we come around this Shimbashi corner into this not so hidden shrine. Again, there are entire night adventures of this place and the rooftops over on the Tokyo Lens main channel with my buddy Lucas, even my friend Hannah from Currently Hannah. We did a whole bunch of rooftops there. But if we come around this corner like this, I've actually never seen this many people. I always come out here like midnight, one, two in the morning. And so this is the most people that I think I've ever seen here. And it is not a torii, but there is, there is a gate. Interesting. So there we go. That's the, that's the space. And that was just hidden in those back streets. Look at this. Like, look at this area. Oh, you can't help but love this. Such a great space. See, I still have yet to find actually an independent coffee shop. It's all bars and whatnot in this area. Narrow Street, we'll just keep going down narrow streets. Yeah. Okay. There's also these like tiny little cars that are like barely cars, but are technically cars. So that's the thing. Wouldn't want to get in an accident one, but they're a thing. They don't take up much more space than a, than a bicycle. Yes, and we touched on some of this space in the early morning walk from the Tokyo Tower to Akihabara Stream. Exactamundo. Exactamundo. But you can never get you can never get too much Tokyo, especially when we're racing the rain today. Who knows when it's gonna hit? It was drizzling there for a second. It feels unseasonably warm today actually, but I can see my breath. So that's confusing. Chances are the temperature and the dew point are very close to each other, and that's what'll do it. And that's me talking stupid pilot stuff. Because it gets stuck in my head. I'm like, oh, what's the separation today between the temperature and the dew point? These are questions that I ask myself now on the daily. What's the cloud height today? These are things that I I check. Uh, I believe the, the trash bin was just, I believe it was just parked against the trash bin. I don't think it was, I don't think it was attached. That's all. More narrow streets over this way. More narrow streets, narrow streets. Oh, what do we got? Right around the corner here, there's something. Let's check it out. We're gonna come around the corner here. Shazam, what do we got? Nothing, not, not a whole lot anyway. So these are, uh, we got the, the shady play, ooh. I see a really narrow alleyway and it looks like it leads somewhere. I, I know I shouldn't, but we're going in. I don't think I'm gonna fit. Where does it go? And Tokyo Paul, good to see you in here. Thanks so much for the super sticker. Hope your day is doing well. That's a cat. Hello, cat. What are you doing? Bye. Oh, he's at least leading me where to go. He's just, I'm not fitting through that. This one is gated. And that's a door. See, these do lead places. This is 100% definitely a restaurant because I'm gonna guess ramen as well because the whole thing smells super strong of garlic. Can, can I get out this door or do we have to go back through the... 
Dan, Dan Domine saying in here, thank you for the live. When will we be heading out for countryside live stream again? Yes, we can get out. No, no, we're blocked on the outside. It doesn't, it doesn't open. And I can't get to this door. Okay, well, we tried. The cat's like, dude, get out of my alley. Like, this is my alley. When I did the video on the pet detective in Japan, I learned that cats have next to no peripheral vision, which is why they like really narrow spaces uh, because it makes them feel like enclosed and safe on both sides. So there's also another door here. See these lead things? Clearly not things for, there's actually lots of doors. There's a door there. There's a door there. So many doors. Oh, but I'm starting to feel the rain drizzling through, trying to not rip my jacket on anything as we walk through this. And there was a super chat in there that said, when will you be heading into the countryside for a live stream again? When the weather is conducive to it. I look forward to doing that. Uh, so likely spring and summer is when we do the majority of our live stream adventures. Last year's entire live stream adventure got canceled because of me getting hit by the truck. And that just took up an insane amount of time in my life. And going out and doing live streams at that time was not an option. So this year, the plan is to get out there in spring and summer. Plenty of live streams coming up. Might even be one coming next month, now that I have this tiny little gimbal that I can carry around, so that's great. I've got a new, like, little handheld gimbal. That's not much bigger than my phone. So, there we go. All right, what do we got? This is great for my claustrophobia. I always forget that claustrophobia is actually like a thing. And like, when I think claustrophobia, I think like being locked into a small room that you can't get out of, you know? Uh, I don't think of like being in an apartment or walking through an alleyway. These are the things that like come to my mind when I think of claustrophobia. But I've learned through doing the tiny apartment videos that, trust me, those trigger claustrophobia. Just being in a tiny apartment. Like I would say if you Google not Google. If you search the word claustrophobia on any of the tiny apartment videos, it'll return several thousand results. And these stairs are totally made out of metal. So that's also a thing. This coffee is so good. That cinnamon sugar. Woo! Just fantastic. Mmm. Yesterday and today count as like, I guess from last night until this evening counts as my cheat day. So I get to enjoy things like sugar and stuff like that. It's kind of nice. I arrived. Jake is saying that he was in Tokyo as I arrived in Toronto. Timing and timing. Let's go this way. It's actually really hard to switch hands. There we go. Uh, the gimbal is, isn't particularly heavy, but holding your arm in one position for an extended period of time, that stuff can tire you. Okay, so I'm really focused on this coffee right now. Like you can, I'm, you can hear the distraction in my voice as I'm just like, do, do, I, do I get another coffee? This was good. I wouldn't protest the idea of another coffee, but I also don't, you know, everything in moderation, right? I don't want to be the excessive guy who got two coffees and Jay walking, trying not to get squished by the truck that's coming. There we go. We succeeded in that goal. So, you know, it's always good to not get squished. The next, Coffee's gone. It has been emptied. It's unfortunate, but it's it's really part of the day. Oh, really? Oh, come on. 
Yo, just as I finished my coffee, there's a place called Coffee Embassy. But that's like a, a Kisaten style shop. So I don't wanna I don't wanna go in and bother them when there's like customers and stuff like that. You gotta love the wiring in these areas as well, you know? Like absolutely incredible lattice work they've been working for a long time hiding a lot of the wires in tokyo like under the ground which is nuts in its own way and in case you've ever wanted to see a luxury car in tokyo here is a panda 4x4 this is a real thing i actually kind of love it But there's something slightly concerning in this car. Did, does anybody else see it? The Beretta sticker? What, what's up with the Beretta sticker? What have you got going on there, my man? And there's like a Beretta sticker with a child seat. What? This car is a mystery there's a beretta sticker with a child seat okay super interesting i uh i think that created more questions than it answered which is fine really the goal of that at no point was to answer questions it's not like we went in with a list but the beretta sticker on the Panda Express with the child seat is definitely a giant question mark all of its own. So, and beautiful super chat here from Kusanag1. Did I get that right? Saying, very much enjoying the stream. Absolutely love the way these back streets look. Planning a trip to Japan this year, so I'll definitely have to photograph some. Okay, go photograph some. That was it. I was like, photograph some what? And then it moved. And it, this is a loaf hotel. It's, it's very different from the love hotels or the loft hotels or the loaf hotels where you get a, a loaf of bread with every room. That would be such a pointless hotel. A loaf hotel. The Panda, the Panda Express with the Beretta sticker. I just, I can't get it out of my mind. So this Sunday, tomorrow, actually I gotta, I gotta go do editing like right now. Tomorrow we have a brand new video dropping on the Tokyo Lens main channel. I'm gonna be spending some time in the comments hanging out with the notification squad when the video goes live. So those of you who have all notifications turned on and ready to go for that channel, we get to hang out and chat and get to know each other. And I enjoy that. It's gonna be, I'm not gonna say anything about the video. I didn't expect to be making this video. That's what I'll say. And then there it is. And it's a video. And I think it's under 15 minutes. So. The video takes place between the prefectures of Tokyo and Wakayama. And we'll go live before midnight Japan time. That guy's just standing on a platform. It's like a platform all of his own. So, and I just saw a comment about loaf themed loafers. And now I want loaf themed loafers because that sounds like a wonderful thing. So let's make it happen, Captain. I actually don't have space for them. So please don't, don't send me loaf themed loafers. I'll send them back. 
Kind of feels like the kind of thing that you could get anywhere in Tokyo. So. They're washing crates. And Nikki in here saying, I got the DJI OM4 RIP. Yeah, the DJI gimbals are okay, but they're overly heavy, overly bulky, and they don't work great, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm not a huge fan of them. I used DJI gimbal for like the past couple of years, and I had more problems than I had success. So, like, I'm using something... I, I've never even heard of them when they reach out to me. They were just like, let us send you a gimbal. Like, this PowerVision S1. I was super doubtful. <laughs> like, I literally said... I was like, I will... I'll... I'll like, I'm not going to do testing and whatnot. I'll just use it for a live stream. And the live stream will probably be over an hour. So, either your product is going to be good or it's going to be very obviously bad. And they're like, oh yeah, go ahead, use it for a live stream. That, we, don't, we don't care. We just, just want to put it in your hands. That's it. And it's now, I, I bought a second one. So I now have two. I keep one of the house and one of my bag at all times. And that way, if I'm ever any, like it takes up no space. My GoPro battery case takes up as much space as this does. So it's spectacular if oh my goodness are we already this far oh my lord i wasn't even paying attention and then i looked up and bam police car like there's really no point in jaywalking here like none whatsoever but i'm still super tempted just for the sake of it this light is green but look at that that ugly building is actually taller than Tokyo Tower. It is being overtaken by the clouds. So. Cross over this way. Shibuya Dori Ave. And this area here is Onarimon Station. This is not really morning anymore. What? What time even is it? I think my Apple Watch has died. Does anybody have any idea what time it is? I don't. Have you tried the Insta360 One X3 for live streaming? I would probably not try my Insta360 cameras for live streaming. Simply because the, the rig that I would like, I would need to connect them to Wi Fi and I need to do all this other stuff, and it'd be this giant pain in the butt. And like, whereas I can just pull out my phone and do a stream here, I don't want to have to waste time doing a whole bunch of like setup and planning and all that stuff. Like, when I want to stream for you guys, I just want to be like, boom, thumbnail, ton, stream. Um, and I imagine that the quality for a 360 live stream would be horrendous at a level that would probably accue like three viewers within like the first 10 minutes. It would be very, very bad. It would not be a good experience for anyone at all. And it has just, the rain is just hit now. The rain is here. So, Nikki in here, keeping that super chat ball rolling, saying, love your streams. I put them on when I'm at work. They make my office days more tolerable love from canada well thank you very much i'm glad that i can help make an office day more tolerable when i was doing my office days it was youtube and streams and stuff like that that i put on the background that kind of got me through it because i didn't enjoy it so don't give me eastern time i someone's like oh it's 9 p.m eastern i don't I don't want 9 p.m. Eastern. What time is it? JST. I'm gonna guess it's like 11 a.m. or something. 11 8, 11.08 a.m. my time. So, that's 
that's what time it is. So, there we are. Tokyo Tower. It's nice. We like, we did our previous walk kind of in reverse, which is great with a little variety to it, which is also great. Our previous walk just had so much exploring and learning and all of that in it. So when this one wraps up, you should definitely go give that one a peek because that was, that was the thing. It was great. It's fantastic. I had so much fun on that stream. Let's get up onto this overhead walkway. Everyone's got their umbrellas out now. So I guess we're gonna find out how tolerant this gimbal is of the rain. But let's get up onto this overhead walkway and take a peek at Tokyo Tower. I'd love for you to do me a favor. When this stream wraps up, jump into the comments. Tell me how your year has started and what you wanna, where you wanna go this year. Where are we, what streams are we gonna be doing? I'm already planning the summer and spring live stream extravaganza. So where's it gonna be? What are we gonna do? You let me know that. I am just about home. I just gotta get over to the other side of Tokyo Tower or maybe that side or maybe that side or maybe this pole right here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. And I will see you again real soon. Ah, <laughs> fake ending. Gotta do the fake endings. But seriously, the rain is a bit of concern. So probably not gonna be like a, a dozen fake endings just because rain. That's, you know, it's wet. That's a thing. Ooh, taxi. <laughs> It's usually not like when, when I do the whole like, oh, here we go. It's the end of the stream. You can, wow, that's a truck. The stream doesn't usually end like when I've been like, okay guys, thanks so much. I'll see you real soon. It's more often than not that the stream ends.